Well, we're headed up north for uh, just for the day. It's a two hour ride one way and so we got a little bit of travel, but we're just gonna go up for the day, Bo and I, just to, just to work on the place. We're gonna start gutting the trailer. Um, I don't know if I showed it in my last video or not, but the trailer's in pretty rough shape. There's a lot of uh, field mice that have taken residence within the, the structure. So definitely can't, uh, can't stay in there with the smell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and gut it uh, so that's the game plan today is we're going to start uh, gutting the trailer, make it more livable. So this is our, uh, our first trip up to work on the trailer. It's May 30th and we're going to try and have it done here in a couple of months. Uh, that's our game plan so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but I don't know how much work is involved until I, uh, I gut it and see what the structure looks like. But this is uh, the beginning adventure of working on the trailer. Okay, well, we're here at the property. Just pulling up. You can see I've got a mow the grass a little bit, probably not this weekend, but the next weekend or two. But I put a tent up here a couple weeks ago. Let's see if it's still standing. It's uh, still there. That's a good sign. So we'll uh, pull in here. back the truck back up that's the uh, that's the camper that we're going to be fixing up so Alright, I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera, but this is the inside of the camper. And yeah, it definitely uh, has been neglected. Um, there's a lot of critters living in here. And though some might say, hey, it's a better place than sleeping outside. However, I think there's more critters in here than there is outside. So my game plan is, is to come in here and rip out the entire uh, interior of this place and then uh, put in all new. So I'll redo the walls, the structuring of the walls. I know that the uh, roof is leaking a bit in a couple of places. I'll fix the roof. Uh, but just for a, a solid structure and to make it a little bit more uh, livable and comfortable when... Uh, family members come up that this definitely could use some improvement. So again, I'm not sure how this is coming out on, uh, on tape here, but I just wanted to, to show you what we got. And uh, yeah, it's pretty rough. It's very rough as a matter of fact. So I would find it to be a little bit of a challenge to, to gut it out and to start over from scratch so we'll we'll see how it works but uh got my work out my work cut out in front of me here so we'll see what we can do
all right well I've got the back half uh, gutted out pretty much and just I as I expected uh, it was leaking around the windows there uh, as you can tell you know that back wall was uh, it's pretty rotten I'm gonna have to replace all those two by twos that are in there in order just to give myself uh, a solid structure but I took it all the way down to the metal I'm not gonna take the two by twos out until I have uh, some that I can replace and I know exactly where they go so I can stud the wall back out but not all the windows were too bad this one over here the studding is still uh, pretty solid and the same thing over here the the studding looks pretty good I won't have to do anything here um, maybe up in that corner where it was leaking around the window I'll change that out but it's uh, it's gonna be a job but we got this done so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna come over here and then uh, start working my way back and taking out uh, I'm gonna leave the kitchen for now I'm not sh quite sure what I'm gonna do with that I got to take some more measurements so that when I build the cabinets it'll go back in the same size but here's the bathroom and I, we really don't need a bathroom in here I'm gonna build a uh, an outhouse a nicer outhouse then and then this will give us a little bit more living space in here temporarily uh, for a little while and then you know there's not a big deal with having a you know a, an outhouse outside but um, I'm gonna take that out so this uh, I don't know how well this is showing up on camera but the uh, the vent up here plastic broke on the top of it's just a plastic cover and then it was just leaking in here now the fortunate thing is is that it leaked inside the uh, the tub so any water that came in it went directly into into the the tub so but we'll see about that I'm not sure I, I don't think I'm gonna keep it but so let me uh, clean up this mess over here a little bit and then I'll start taking down that section of the camper. I'm going to wait to do the roof until I get uh, more room in here after I take out this this section right here. Um, that, that way it'll give me a little bit more room to get out of the way in case whatever falls down I've got room to get out. But So this is the progress so far. So we'll see how it goes. All right. Um, I've taken down the walls for the bathroom and I can see that it's uh, where well that where well the roof is up there it leaked pretty bad uh, the in the walls were just completely just uh, uh, pretty much just mush it came right out without any effort uh, because it did leak down the wall and then you can see around the ceiling right here this is all wet it's coming out just so I this is definitely has to uh, to get replaced. You can see that it's uh, the water stain uh, up in here where it just kind of like just came in and saturated. I thought it stayed within the bathroom, but when it came down into the wall, it got it got up into the ceiling here. So it's gutted down to where uh, there's no more walls left on on this end. Let me come down here. So you can see from when we walked in this morning so she's gutted that back corner is uh, saturated it's all wet and uh, that that all needs to be replaced it's just uh, it's just rotted wood same thing underneath the uh, the shower pan the the woods kind of rotten underneath there so just the back half really just seems to be the the issue now I know up here in the front uh, you can already see where some of the wood is falling apart so I think we're gonna run into the same thing again is that anywhere where the where the big windows are is where it's uh, really going to be uh, uh, waterlogged or wet so I haven't even started to take uh, this end apart but you can just see how it's bowed and and uh, waterlogged oh yeah you can see up there I don't know how well it comes up in the camera but it's uh, it's soaking wet uh, you can see uh, water bubbles here definitely the roof is leaking so we've got some major work to do but we again we don't know until we get it completely gutted 
So it's uh, it's a little bit of a work, but I think in the long run, just knowing what you have to work with, it, you'll be better off. And then besides the smell in here, it's just really mildewy. From it, this is doable. Uh, we we just got to take our time and uh, and do it right. I mean, there are some good pieces here. I mean, this wood here looks completely dry, as I, as I indicated earlier. You know, a little moisture up here in this corner uh, by this window. A um, little wet up here, but not soaking wet. It looked like it got wet at one time. Um, but, uh, and then the same thing over here. This, this wood is, is pretty solid, so this wall is not bad. It just looks to be in the corner. Uh, could be that the trailer wasn't level and all the water ran to one end. I'm not sure. But um, the bathroom was really bad where it had leaked through that roof. So uh, the floor is really soft over there. So this is, this is what we're at. I'm going to stop for the day on this. Uh, it's probably taken me about, I want to say maybe four hours uh, to, to get to this point. And I wasn't, uh, you know, breakneck speed, just... Uh, casually going but a huge start for for four hours of work come back up next weekend and i'll do another four and we should have this uh completely gutted all right well there's the pile of wood that i took out of the trailer today it's uh it's going to be a big burn pile i can tell you that um let's see if i can't get over here and show you a bigger view it's it's up there uh that's a lot of wood so I'm going to have to wait and uh, until I can uh, watch the fire. I don't want to burn and then have to keep going back into the trailer and watching, you know, gutting the trailer and then watching the fire. I'd rather wait until uh, uh, I have a chance to be dedicated to this. So, but it's all stacked in a pile right now. So that I think the next time I come up before I start gutting the, uh, uh, the rest of the trailer, I'll go ahead and uh, burn this pile here. And then I'm going to move it uh, uh, to a clearing so that we have, we're plenty safe when we burn it. But right now it's just stacked here in a pile. Um, I'm going to tarp it just so that it stays dry. I'm not going to be fighting with it when it goes to burn. So I got a tarp right here. I'll go ahead and take that tarp and uh, cover up the cover up the pile. But um, yeah, so it's been a pro uh, very productive day. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean up a little bit, maybe walk the property just to take a look. I haven't uh, been back in the, in the back or anything, so we're going to uh, walk back there. Now, there are some pieces of metal in here that you can see. I just didn't have all the tools to take out the screw, so before I do burn this, though, I will separate the metal. As you can tell over here, I, uh, I separated all the plastic. So I'll be taking this back uh, to the house with me and uh, dispose of it properly. We won't. We definitely won't be burning that or doing anything in here. We'll dispose of it properly. So we'll make sure that uh, everything's done right and decode. But yeah, we're uh, we're making progress. Beautiful day again today. So uh, very nice, very good. So I'm going to take the chainsaw. I know in the back, last time I was here, there was a, a tree over the trail. So I'm going to cut that up and uh, move that out of the way. Bo's a little uh, bored. He's looking for some playtime. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see what happens if I got time to we'll romp through the woods a little bit. Yeah, but that's what we've got. So let me cover this up and then I'm going to go cut down that tree in the trail. And we'll see uh, what time it is and maybe head back home a little bit early today. Okay, well, that's it for this trip. We got quite a bit done. We got the camper half gutted. Picked up some uh, some wood to take back home to, to burn in the fire pit. Walk the property. So, pretty productive day for uh, about five and a half hours. So, I'm pretty pleased. So, we'll head on out, lock the gate, and call it a day. Got about a two hour ride back home, so it's uh, it's not too bad. Um, if I can get up early enough and then come on out here where I've got time to work and get be productive, 
and then be able to uh, get back on the road. So we're coming back out and then here we are at the blacktop. So it's a uh, pretty, pretty nice area, pretty remote, not a whole lot around us. So 